Hey guys, and welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Uh, today we're here to talk about buying equipment. And we're not just here to talk about like buying graphic cards and stuff, which is the thing we all chase like crazy. We're here to really talk about building our rigs. So to build our rigs, we require a lot of power supplies, memory, motherboard, CPUs. When we see that stuff go on sale, I don't know about you, but when I see it go on sale, I see motherboards coming on at a great price because they can sometimes rally up and be 300 they can hit up 400 plus dollars if i see a great deal from a good buyer i'll buy it what i've made the mistake then sometimes we're just putting it on the shelf until i need it so there's a lesson learned for you in this story so stick with me so once upon a time i bought this motherboard on ebay and it was actually back in middle of june I was all ready to do a build, ended up shelving it for a little bit till I got more graphic cards. And it sat there. In the meantime, when I first got it, I did do some diligence. I opened it up. It looks good. Oh, wait, let me do a cheap plug. I got this new desk for my birthday last month, and I absolutely love it. So it's kind of cool, and hopefully be showing some cool, funky stuff with it in the future videos. But back to our topic. And I'll look at it. I said, wow, this looks great. Even take a quick look at it. Pins, everything, it looks perfect. But it's not. Uh oh. And that's where I made the mistake, and I almost got burned, and it almost cost me a few hundred dollars. So I want to share my quick story with you so you don't make the same mistake. A lot of times when I do computer builds, I'll try to buy stuff in advance, whether if it's for a home PC or even a mining rig. And I'll get that motherboard, but until I have all the pieces, it could sit on a shelf sometimes for a few months. And that's what happened with this one. This is a, one of my favorite motherboard, HROCK H110 BTC Pro Plus. And it looks perfect. Problem is, is that we never check inside the pins. And that's where I almost made a mistake. When I opened up the pins and I was ready to seat the CPU in there, I was like, wow, I could see the pins in here. There was probably about a half a dozen of them. They were pretty, pretty bent. I don't want a chance bending them back. I don't have a microscopic eyes to do it. And I actually have another brand new Ace Rock, same motherboard without bend pins. And I'm going to show you them and you'll see the difference. So the lesson nice. being is when you get equipment, check it, really check it, at least what you can, because I, it was actually just outside of the return policy. It was actually through eBay, but it was actually through past the eBay seller return policy. The seller could have told me to just go take a walk and I would have been screwed at that point. But fortunately it was a good vendor. I'm not gonna say who it was yet until, cause we have to send it back. But they gave me an RMA. I'm gonna be sending it back this week and they're gonna be shipping me out a replacement. So I'll definitely give you a big thumbs up in the next video when I get my motherboard back. The moral of the story is, is that as you get equipment, sometimes as a builder or a rig builder, really try to take a look at it because if you're outside your time or your return policy, in this case, it looks absolutely perfect. But until you really go and look at the pins or the other things, you don't know. And you don't want to wait till you're beyond that return period because then I would have been out like 350 bucks. I hope you don't make the same almost mistake that I do. That's all I want to share with you for today. So just when you get equipment, take a look at it as best you can. Some of the bigger manufacturers, they have great warranties you can do with it. Who wants to deal with having to send stuff back to a manufacturer, getting you know big RMA approvals and other things? Fortunately, with this, the vendor worked with me. It could have been a few hundred dollar mistake. I hope this teaches everybody else a lesson not to make the same mistake that I did and just put items on the shelf and hope they're good when they need them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up like, smash down on that subscribe button. I hope to see you in the next Thank video. You. We got some very exciting builds coming along. See you in the next video. Happy mining.